here we go. And let me start the emulator. I actually really like this title screen as well. Like this whole game is super duper colorful and I love the way it looks. Like the uh and like the little boxes in the top and bottom of the screen are supposed to make it kind of look like a uh a film reel. The entire thing is like an homage to old horror movies. Yep, so we'll hit these torches to get some hearts and such. So yeah, um, have you, do you guys have any experience with this series? Like, I know most people have probably seen the uh, Netflix uh, show, and that's where most of my understanding of Castlevania comes from. I had a brief stint with um, Symphony of the Night that I really liked. That game is a lot of fun. That's the PS1 game where you play as Alucard. It's the one that's like super Metroid-y, and it's the reason why the genre of Metroidvania is known as Metroidvania instead of search action or whatever. It's funny because that's actually what they called the genre internally. They call this search action. Isn't that funny? <laughs> Expect a lot of dun dun duns when I play this. Oh shit, I forgot to pick my own Discord. I'm an amateur. Let's try that again. Hi everyone, how's it going? I forgot to ping my own server. These are the kind of mistakes a professional streamer makes. Wow. Speaking of the mistakes a professional streamer makes, I actually looked into a bunch of like streamer drama earlier today and it was a it was a nightmare. Just listening to the kind of petty stuff that people will ruin their lives over is a uh teensy weensy bit of a nightmare. Especially when you're like someone on the bottom who's like, I want to be a big streamer one day, and then you see what the big streamers get up to, and you're like, uh, I hope I, I hope that doesn't happen to me. I hope I don't get in trouble for that. <laughs> Privet Stelder. Hey there, Obi, how's it going? Na, 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 na. I have the vampire killer here. Yep. Da, 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 da. Oh, I forgot I always forgot I always fucking forget the Panther. Ah, I, I demoed this a bit earlier, and I was not able to actually that panther there. Yeah, there it goes. Wee! Oh shit! <laughs> that fast. No, no, please, no, please. Oh Jesus! Oh Christ! Bitch! <laughs> Being bullied by the panthers. How is that? How are you, how are you enjoying that so far? Welcome back, Mist. It's fun so far. That's good to hear. What part are you at? I didn't never. I never really got very far into to Resident Evil One. Oh, he hit me! Damn it! I was hoping I could get past him. Oh, there goes my holy water. Weird. That's the screen clear. Oh, that's good. Yeah, go burn those bodies. Oh shit, no. Ah, crap. I am botching this so bad. Uh, right? Got him. Okay. And I know there's, uh, there's some wall turkey here we can get. Damn it. Yeah, it's weird, because, like, in a lot of platformers, you want your center of attention to be on your character. But in this game, you kind of want to look, look, be looking slightly ahead of them at all times. No! Ah! There we go. So I'm probably not going to be quick saving or quick loading too much in this one. Uh, the game is pretty generous when it comes to checkpoints. Uh, why did I eat those? Because I, I need health, and it's the only way to get health, is by finding wall turkey. And you can't whip up until uh, Castlevania 4. I, I also I hate and love the view angles on Resident Evil. Yeah, it's like you feel restricted because you can't see what's slightly out of frame. No! Whew! Careful. Yep, because like you can't you can't see what's slightly off screen, so it creates this really good mood. But at the same time, you can't fucking see what's coming. You can hear something, but you can't see it, and it makes the game really scary. I fucking love it. Gonna grab some money right now. Money, money. Here we go. Next room. Now these ooga booga ghouls. I don't really worry too much about because they just run right into your whip. 
Ow, there we go. And there we go, another one, and all right. See, I'm not too... <laughs> I forgot you could just fall and eat shit. Da, 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 da. Yeah, there's the axe, I love the axe. All right, let's see if I can avoid getting anything else. Because the axe is really good against, well, this guy. If I remember correctly, this guy right here. No, stop climbing the ladder. Alright, hit him. Alright. Oh, no, 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 no. Alright, one more. Got him. Woo! I got the ball. Ooga booga. <laughs> I would eat money. Me too, if I could. If money was eatable, I would. Also, welcome back, Misty. You haven't, seen, you haven't posted since you got back. I just forgot to say hello. Are you playing as Jill? Good choice. She's the master of unlocking. She's the better pick. She has a bit, a bit less health than Chris. However, she's the master of unlocking. She has access to certain doors. Oh yeah, the crucifix. <laughs> Ah, hey, look at that. Look at that, I got a crown, I'm the king now. Yay! Monies. Like, okay, I don't really pay attention to my score, I just see the money as, like, moral support. It's just there to make you feel nice. You're like, yeah, this game is hard, have a little bit of money to make you feel nice. And like, oh, thanks. Maybe Simon can pay rent. Bum, bum, bum. More Jiggle physics in her titties than her hair. Why? I did not even know that about Jill. I'll be honest. My After playing, I, I played like 40 hours of 14. Like, I played so much Final Fantasy 14, and I only realized somewhat recently that the characters have Jiggle physics. And I just had no clue. I had been playing the whole game, and I realized my character's titties jiggled. So I guess I just don't look out for that shit. I used to, like, hyper-focus on it when I was younger, but now it's just, like, I'm so used to n nudity and sex that it just... I don't even pay attention to it, to it anymore. I remember, like, for a solid year of living alone, I would, like, watch movies and anime- old anime and stuff, and, like, some- like, a sex scene would happen. And I would, like, look over my shoulder to see if my parents were watching, or my parents- making sure my parents wouldn't walk in. And, like, when I was living alone, you know? Oh god, that was the worst decision. Dun 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 -na. Dun 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 Oh god, the fucking Medusa heads. I forgot. Nice. Bitch! There we go. There we go. Oh yeah, the hearts aren't health. The hearts are energy for your weapon. They're like life power. Never played this game. Uh, I've only played it once before. Um, I'm enjoying it so far. Dun, dun, nah, nah. No, bitch! No, oh, thank you. Actually, she saved my life. There we go. There we go. It's really hard. Uh, here we go. And uh, 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 you're done. Hey, jump up and hit the scandal. There we go. Didn't get too far. Yeah, same here, pretty much. Old school games. I actually really want to try some of the other, like... Like, this Mega Man and Ghouls and Ghosts have, like, the reputation for being, like, stupidly hard NES games. And I want to play all three of them. Ghouls and Ghosts especially. Like, the way that game moves, I really want to try. I remember when I was I was little and I played, like, Mario's... For, I, I think I played Mario for the first time and my character took a hit and died rather than him losing health. And I'm like, what the fuck's wrong with this game? Like, that was my first thought. It was like, is there is the game broken? What's wrong with it? I, because I, all I had played before was, like, Ratchet and Clank, and, like, um, I hadn't, I hadn't even played Crash Bandicoot at that point. I played Spyro, but I hadn't played Crash at that point. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Bitch. Fuck em. I'll just use the world. Easy. Uh, it, it did get a movie made after a while, but it started as a really cool series of games, and still is. 
from what I've heard. People seem to like the new game. I've always been particular to the first three myself. No, my time stop abilities. When they'd be the most useful. Oh shit. Uh. Dun 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 dun. Take that. Hell yeah. Dun 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 dun. Hercules! Yeah, I love that one. That's, um. Yeah, that's the one that JonTron played. I remember that one. One with, uh. The, the movie adaptation, right? The movie game. A lot of those old Disney games were, like, shockingly good. Like that, DuckTales, Chippendale Rescue Rangers, Goof Troop. Like, a lot of those old uh, Nintendo games made by, like, developed by, like, Capcom and stuff are, like, super fucking good. Aladdin. Like, Aladdin's the shit. Dun 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 dun. Ow. Right, well, that plan failed. <laughs> what the hell? Ah, damn it. Dun 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 dun. I have the shitty whip. Now I have the better whip. Really? <laughs> People keep asking this. I don't. I don't know. Ask the keepers. <laughs> You're like, but Alex, I am a keeper. I am Pagliacci. <laughs> Yeah, this also runs off of uh, Mega Man rules, so like spikes just kill you. There's no health loss, you just die. Here we go, get that heart, and... Damn it, it's a big heart. Apparently, because Fortnite is raising V-Bucks price because of inflation. That's bullshit. <laughs> That's not a thing. There's no... There's no money that goes into minting V-Bucks. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> oh, man. There's no reason to raise the... In like... They're raising the price of V-Bucks because they can. And because it'll make them more money. Her. Nice, that's good to hear. Happy that she's saying good things about me. <laughs> Keeper of her of her heart, yes, indeed. Yeah, I didn't see the Ratchet and Clank movie until recently. Oh, you were talking about Hercules. You know what? Yeah, I actually only saw Hercules recently. I I, I'm, I was mostly familiar with Hercules from, well, the Greek story of Hercules, because I had a huge Greek mythology phase back in uh, middle school. Because of God of War and Percy Jackson and the Olympians, which is a fantastic book series, I might add. The movie sucks, but the book series is really good. And, oh, and apparently they're making a TV sh show out of it soon? I hope that's good. Probably won't be, but, you know, I can hold out hope. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum, bum. Hey, it's Alice. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, God, now, okay. Holy water! Holy water! Holy water! Get the fuck away from me, you bitch! Oh wow, that worked really well, actually. Huh. Well, we now we now know Alice is weak to holy water. <laughs> Great. Oh yeah, Young Hercules on Disney Channel. That one was a lot of those Disney Channel shows were really good, even though the animation looked shittier. Like uh, the Emperor's New School, I really enjoyed. Just fucking NES compus com composers on bleepy bloopy machines casually pumping out like the best damn music you've ever heard. Oh, hey, look, it's Obi. Actually, I really like the purple Furbies. That's really cool. That's what you sound like. Okay, I like this skeleton. He's like, hey, I'm gonna get you. Hey, 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 come here. Come here, boy. Come here, boy. I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. Just like the 80s. Come on, come here. Come here. Wait here. 
Fuck you! Fucking <laughs> come come fight me, you bitch! Oh, you motherfucker! <laughs> that skeleton, that skeleton had a plan and he fucking executed. Oh man, I have no idea. Oh, I like those a lot. Oh, I like the Jack Skellingtons. I gotta play the. Okay, I apparently gotta play the uh, Nightmare Before Christmas beat 'em up on PS2. Apparently, it's super good. I have a bone to pick with you. I was thinking that exact same thing. God damn it! I threw my holy water again. Oh, you know what I need to watch this Halloween? I need to watch The Crow. The girlfriend was telling me about how good it was, and I and I mainly know The Crow for the fact that Caleb references it a bunch in uh, reference. Refer yeah. Caleb references it a bunch in Blood. So I was like, I actually really need to see that. Maybe I should rewatch the Evil Dead movies this year. I haven't I haven't seen Evil Dead one or Evil Dead one or two in a while. Bum, 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 bum. Gotcha, bitch! Oh, he had the axe, motherfucker! All right, I'm hurting pretty bad right now. Whipping feels so good. It's like it's just a nice feeling. It's the it's the re it's the Wind up and then the whop, like that. Hey, Witty, how's it going? Oh, uh, Medusa. I'm gonna continue to run from the Medusas. It seems to be a valuable strategy. Oh shit! All right, I'm stuck on the ladder. Uh, keep climbing. Can we get my? Oh, hey oh, hey Witty. I like the Rainbow Ghost. We'll do water time. Holy water time. You know? <laughs> Re real talk, like, r real talk though, like, I've never had much interest in whips when it comes to that kind of thing. Like, I've always wanted to try a riding crop, though, because a riding crop, you can poke with it, and you can smack with it. And I've just been thinking about that lately. Like, in terms of, like, my... whipping device of choice in that scenario. It also makes a really nice loud noise, and it increases the s and it increases their speed when you hit them with it. That's- that's a TF2 joke. That's terrible, I'm sorry. Spit out my water. <laughs> it caught me off guard. <laughs> beep beep! No! Toki wa tomare! Ooh, that was close. I almost became a Simon sandwich. You bitch! I almost became a Simon salad. Ew. Okay, here's the question: Is Simon's whip, if it's made of chain, and like top with a spiky ball? I, not on the spot? Oh, I can't do it. Zoo Ranger! <laughs> Zoo Ranger! <laughs> I'd have to think of a- I'd have to think of a quote. i just- Ah, no! Uh, no? I go up top. Fuck off! I hate these Medusas so much. Ground. <laughs> I need health really bad, but there's never any health for me. I have yet to figure out how to deal with the weird little dragon turrets. Damn it. Yeah, it starts you back at the beginning. That's okay, though. I'm gonna be alright. Wait for Obi to jump down at me. Here we go. Bye, Obi. It's weird, because, like, in some ways this game's, like, really ahead of its time with its, like, checkpoints and shit. Obi, no! Gotcha. Fred Fox.
Eat holy water, bitch. Bum, 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 Fred Fuchs. <laughs> but yeah, how, how did you do end up dealing with the dogs anyway? I'm curious, because I remember you messaged me about that, and I'm just like, I have no idea. I haven't played Resident Evil 1. The earliest RE game I played is 4. Um, played R that I've beaten is 4. Um, which makes me kind of a fake RE fan, which is, you know, fine. It's never been my, it's never really been my series to begin with, but I, I play them on occasion and I enjoy them. And then after, I, and I did play the remake of, I played 7 and I played um, the remake of 2. Those are the two newest ones I've played. Which I, I fucking love the remake of 2. It's like one of my favorite games. I still haven't played the original 2, but I played the remake. I'm like a I don't think Jill's able to do that. What were they thinking? Mm -hmm. I'll be honest, I know James is just playing a character, but when he when he has those episodes like when he has those episodes like everything's shit and he just goes back and he's like, maybe Castlevania was shit too when he goes back to games he likes and he shits on them, I get really sad. I'm like, no, James, but you like Castlevania. What are you doing, man? You love Castlevania, and then I'm like, wait a minute, this is a character, what the fuck am I... It's a fictional... It's a fictional character. I just get sad, you know? Like, during his Earthbound review, where he went back and shat on a bunch of games he liked, I was just like... No, it's not all shit. It made me sad. I got really emotionally involved, okay? Fucking... Alice, you gotta tell your cousins to stop doing this. I can't take this much head. Oh, Christ. I hate it. I like the bit where Alice kicks the glass into the dog and then kick the dog. Oh god. Me and the girlfriend wa rewatched that recently. That that movie does not hold up. I always got mixed up with AVGN and James. Well, cuz James is the like the actor and the writer who plays or he's he, I mean nowadays he's not really the writer anymore. He used to be like the main writer, but like he you know plays the character. Yeah, because the big Medusa was you, the little Medusas are like your relatives or your children or something. Mm hmm. I'm just filling in the lore, that's all. I, I, I like to- I like to base- I like to base enemies in the game off of you guys, or even allies. Oh, I can knock the projectiles out of the air with my whip. Okay. So just super him and Magmate. Yeah, the guy with the huge dick. Um... Fucker Mike. Alright, so yeah, so I just gotta go aggressive on him. Mike and Matt, uh, Matt Mate, I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mike. James and Mike. M Matt. James and Mike Matinee. <laughs> I gotta show you guys this clip. It's one of my favorites. Uh, here's the part where the stream becomes derailed. Alex gets high drunk, and this becomes a Saturday stream. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure you guys have seen this before. Big Dick and Brown Briggs. Yeah, those are my favorites, too. <laughs> Hello to James and... <laughs> okay, hold on. <laughs> Alright, one second. Mike. Hellos, I, a big fan of Anger, also fan of Son of Destroy, just like you, Mr. James Roof. Also, I like Mike Matinee. Matinee, <laughs> yeah. Um, who do stuff <laughs> with you on games. I like... Hangbang game is good, and also I like fight. I teach, talk, and tell of a fight at my blog. You see it here? It's good to talk to you because you strong a fight. Say fucks and do good with strongs. <laughs> don't even take a shit if you don't have to. <laughs> 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 don't even take a shit if you don't have to. Uh, Sometimes if people take shit cause to be friend with you, I don't like that. I like fight hard style, and so I like you. Any kid I see, I tell, no, no, don't take a shits for it. <laughs> give shits and see futures in <laughs> Ma, all the guys. <laughs> Ma, all the gods of Furious Strong be with you as you crunch op opponents, I guess, and live. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Such a good one. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't think English is their first language, and I think whatever they used to translate it wasn't very oh, good. Oh, I can't even read the last part. I can't even read the last part out loud. <laughs> Live like a wind rammer as you fall. <laughs> I need a t shirt of that. <laughs> this is the greatest. <laughs> Live like a wind rammer as you fuck. Do not take shits from a... <laughs> anyone. Only give shits. Very likely a foreign child. Yes, that's what I was thinking as well. Oh, my face hurts. That's a good feeling. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, shit. It's about as far as I got last time, too. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Alright, got him. I'm gonna save here. Because I... Don't want to have to fucking reload again. I, I, like, I don't want to have to go all the way back to the start of the level again. He don't give shits, only. He doesn't take shits, only give shits. Ah, oh, god damn it! Don't take a shit if you don't have to. <laughs> ah no! Ah, I'll take it. I'll take the. I'll take the L on this one. I'll take the L on this one. Oh, I'm still good though. Look at that. Look at that. I, I've been rewarded for my patience. There we go. There we go. Damn it. What the hell just happened there? I guess I had a screen clear. Very likely a foreign child, yes. <laughs> See futures and balls. God damn it! Uh, favorite Mike Matei video? I... Uh, I just liked- I like- I actually really liked him as Motherfucker Mike in, uh, the Board James series. <laughs> like, I thought that was pretty good. I really like Board James. Or what I've seen of it, at least. I've only seen season one. Oh man, okay, here comes... Bitch! What does, he, what does he look like to me? What does he look like? He looks like something. He reminds me of someone. Oh, shit, I get it! He reminds me of the dad from Lisa the Painful. That's what he reminds me of. Like, he's like kind of squatting down, you know? Do hangbang fight. Dun, dun, dun. Jesus! Alright, alright. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> oh, what do you mean? Like, he made that movie, or...? No, that's stupid. That's a stupid thing I just said, and I died for it. Every time I fail- every time I fail a conversation with you guys, I just get- like, Simon gets thrown into the abyss. Like, what's going through your mind to act that insane? I- I- I don't know. I have not seen the Elmo and Grouchland video, so I wouldn't- I- I- no, oh, God. And Quasimodo's. Pred he, pred he predicted this! That motherfucker. He predicted that he would leap down and kick my ass, that Quasimodo. Moldo? Really? Sometimes I just fail at speech and I just wonder why. Why does this happen to me? 
is being made in Microsoft Two's device without James to approve. Oh, oh, the, when he made all those drunken that when he made that drunken like what was it drunken Mario Let's Play that became Lost Media in Elmo and Crouchland. That brown bricks with Minecraft. It's the most fun you can have on your iOS device. <laughs> ah, shit, fuck! All right, try that again. I'm getting, I'm getting worse. That's the problem. Like that's, th this is gonna be a long one, guys. Just letting you guys know, there's gonna be a lot of repetition, a lot of trying and failing. Is this the kind of game this is gonna be? Inspector Gadget Minecraft. Yeah, I know. If I'm to jump at me, I'm gonna dodge, and then... That fucker! He knew. The edit where they remove Inspector Gadget. I have not seen that one. God fucking damn it, every time! I hate that bastard. Alright, he's done. It's a really nice sprite for that skeleton. Like, he's got some depth to him. This entire game looks so good to me. I love the way this game looks. It's really good pixel art. And just color. Like, I think that's the big... I think that's something that this game did a really good job of, is making... Go this game is a piece of shit. No, I'm kidding. Uh, this game did a really good job of making use of the NES's limited color palette. God fucking damn it! You know what I needed to do? I needed to just stop. Cause like, alright, we're gonna go ahead and approach. Yeah, I need to stop. He'll come right to me, I just have to stop. The moment I see him, he's gonna he's gonna launch, and I need to stop and wait for him and then get him. This is ridiculous. Fuck you. I'm moving on. Like, hey, don't you want my bones? Like, nah, I'm good. Thanks, dude. You motherfucker. <laughs> you motherfucker. Like, this is going down, bitch! You're getting down here, you're gonna fight me! I'm gonna bone the hell out of ya! Dude, the dude needs blood. He won't, like, he won't just let me go. He's just like, motherfucker. I'm so mad, that motherfucker. Oh, man. <laughs> it's going down, bitch! <laughs> it's just like, fucking hell. Hyper aggressive skeletons. <laughs> that Dark Souls skeletons were bad. Well, to be fair, this one's not like jumping and doing like crazy fighting game moves. That game's so. Like, Dark Souls' tone is so funky because it's like deathly serious and like. Jump, Simon! There we go. Like, deathly serious and shit, and then you get to, like, a fucking... You're the, the mimic which grows legs and then just starts doing Street Fighter moves. It's like, what the hell? Or the skeletons that are, like, made of wheels. That was a Berserk reference, but I mean... It was goofy there, too. Then again, in the Berserk context, it made more sense, because the people were put on the wheel. Like, they were put on the hobbling wheel. Um... There we go. And then we got our whip refill here. Oh, never mind. No, we don't. Oh, because I got a full whip already. Good. There we go. And tuck back. Ah, that bitch. Bum, 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 we're climbing. Bum, 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 not dying. Bum, 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 surviving now. Okay, uh, fireball? Yep. I'm an idiot! I'm an, I walked right into that! I'm so fucking stupid! Alright, let's try it again. Alright, we're dealing with Quasimodos and Xenomorph Skulls. Got him. Alright. Wear your glasses. I am. I am wearing my glasses. No one's used the di nobody's used the glasses off redeem yet. All right, there's another one. God, you bastard! All right, uh, stretch. He got away. He, he accomplished his mission. His mission was to jump down, scratch my ass, and then get out of there. In and out. 
you, you monster. Now it looks like I'm playing it on an old CRT, so I guess it's authentic, at least. On top of it being miserable. No! Oh no. You ever get tired? If you ever think a stream's not lasting long enough, and you want me to keep playing a game, just take my glasses off. I'll be too blind to actually make any reasonable progress. I'm tired too, like, oh my goodness. You. Mm. Mm. Angie. There we go. I'm, no, it's Pasquinty. It's Pasquinty day. I have to squint. Oh, my goodness. Well, luckily, soon I'll have to, I'll have to take a break and go get laundry. <laughs> yep, pretty much. Bum, 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 you monster. Bum, 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 how could you? Bum, bum, bum. Alright, the big floaty head will be here any second now. I was so scared that was gonna launch me off the off the edge. There we go. He's done. Got him. Okay. Uh... Oh yeah, it is November twenty eighth. Take off his. <laughs> Oh my god, there's a fucking gag in community about that about that concept that kills me. Uh, I can't remember, let me get, see if I can remember the teacher's name. Spanish teacher community. Ben Chang. Uh, the, okay, so community is a show about a community college, and at one scene, uh, the teacher of the Spanish class, who's this Asian guy named Ben Chang, uh, he's getting angry at the class because someone turned in their homework, but it was super small. He's like, what is this? What kind of joke is this? And he holds up the homework and looks at it. And he does like a race to Asian character face. <laughs> it reminded me of that, what you just said. That gag fucking killed me. Now I can forgive racism. You can forgive racism? <laughs> that show's great. Shame that the creator beats his wife. Oh no, it's Justin Roiland. Dan Harmon's fine. Okay, I always get the two of them confused. Because they're both like the Rick and Morty people. Man, uh... What the fuck was that game called? Like, the really... The really cringe-ass game with, like, the cringe-ass FPS game with, like, the talking weapons. What was that called? I always forget about it. But, like, that game had a... That game... That game came out at a rough time. It came out at a time where, like the Rick and Morty style of humor was just hated. And like, on top of it, it's just that same style of humor. And also, I don't like the swearing. I'm sorry, Zordox. I'll try to tone it down a bit for you. But yeah, so like that, that game came out at a time in which uh, people were just getting kind of really, really tired of that style of comedy anyway, and specifically that style of writing. Uh, High on Life, that's what it's called. Yeah, Zach's in that, isn't he? I was thinking about that, because I, I was thinking about that in relation to them, but I didn't know where that came in. It's like, yeah, we're kind of in like that post-Rick and Morty thing, where it's like, people just aren't into it anymore, and just, that game had a bad... It was in a, it was a, it was in a bad way from the day it was, like, announced. It's just, it felt like people were tired of it immediately. I feel bad for it, really, because like I'm sure there's a lot of talented people that worked on it. The movement and the combat looked really fun. Um, I'll probably give it a try eventually. I'm just I don't want to I don't want to deal with these birds. I just don't want to deal with these birds. I'm just gonna freeze time, so I don't gotta deal with these birds. But yeah, I, I actually... I, oh yeah, there was that there was that whole Red Letter Media scene as well, yeah. Maybe I should give it a try, because I've, I've heard that, like, a lot of the stuff they showed off about the game was just, for some reason, the least flattering stuff, which is unfortunate. Why does that keep happening, by the way? 
there'll be a time, like, it's a common thing where, like, otherwise fine comedies, when advertised, for some reason, they'll just show off all the worst moments. Is it because people who edit trailers just don't know, or people who, like, choose what to show just don't have a good sense of, like, what's funny and what's not? Okay, you guys hear, I mean, we, we talked about it earlier in the server, but, like, the, uh, the death of Volition, the creators of, um, Saints Row. Kind of sad about that, but at the same time, like, everybody warned them. But it was just, uh, apparently it was, shoot, I actually really wanted that item. Oh boy, here we go. I am not, I'm gonna have a rough go of it. Oh, thank you. That's okay. I got some. I got more lives. In fact, I'm probably gonna quick save here so we don't have to. So we don't have to worry. Yeah, it's. Re it was really. It really seemed like someone at some part of the way. Like I don't know, because like it, like say what you want about Volition, they make the games that they want to make, and apparently, a lot of what happened at internally with Volition was that, um. It's not even that it's too woke, like, the game itself is just, it's, what's the word I'd use for it? It's, it doesn't seem to under, like, it has one joke, and its joke is what if, what if organized crime was run like a small business? What if small business but also crime? And it kind of leaves out the fact that organized crime is a business, and it kind of misses that point, and that that's not really a joke, it's just how it is IRL. Uh, I died. But, um, yeah, what happened internally was that basically the team had created a game, and they were working on it, and they were making something they wanted, and that they were really passionate about, right? And that's what we eventually got. It wasn't, like, pandered or market tested. It was actually what the, de the de development team wanted to make. And then they showed it off, and it was hated, and there it was too late to pivot. They had to make it work, or the company would go under. Or they were worried the company might go under because of the past failures of, uh... You know what? Lesson I've learned, don't enter the boss arena that way. Yeah, because it's, um... It's meant to be, like, a parody of, like, the millennial... Millennial starting a small business type of story. But organized crime. And it doesn't quite ever hit that point. And it creates this really weird disconnect where, like... Well, the, the Saints in the old games were old-school gangsters that sold out. That was the, the concept, is that they moved up to the point. Also, might I add, I don't even know if Princess Zor Zordox is still here or not. If so, hi, thanks for watching. I think I've done a... I'm, I'm I, sorry, I was just shocked at myself. I haven't sworn for like a solid five minutes. I've done a remarkable job of keeping the swearing to a minimum. minimum. Uh, yeah, it's just not... It's not a great joke. But yeah, old, uh... Old, uh... Old Saints Row was, like, old-school gangsters that sold out, right? That was the that was the, the bit for Saints Row 3. And that one, I, I don't re I don't remember even being too keen on that one. I just, I just kind of liked Saints Row as a... I, I like Saints Row the same way I like the old GTA games. I like that it's a parody crime drama with a sometimes serious tone. Uh... But with, like, the new game, it was just... I felt like it was just ill-conceived ill from the get-go, and they had to run with it, you know? And hope that people would like it, and they just didn't. That's why I feel kind of bad for him, because it's not like, uh... It wasn't, like, market-tested, it wasn't anything bad like that, it was more just... This was a genuine passion project, and... It just didn't take. Yes, that's what I've heard. I've never, I've actually, never actually played it. I've only played, uh, I've only played three to completion, uh, and I would love to play two, but the PC version is so horribly busted to the point of being unplayable. It's one of those uh, old 360 games like Prototype, where you actually got to slow down your CPU's clock speed if you wanted to run at human speeds. Otherwise, it, the entire thing plays like an old black and white movie. People are moving too fast. Ah, shoot! Shoot! Darn! Fooey! <laughs> Good villains, that's what I've heard. Dun, 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 dun. 
Should I even- I'm loading this- I'm <laughs> doing a load state. There's no way I'm gonna win that fight with that much health. I think I'm gonna take my death this time if I die. There we go. Got him. Got him. Yeah, exactly. It was... It's. I think that one's probably aged the worst, because it's like, the lol, we're so wacky, we're so random, dubstep style of humor was already kind of old when that came out, and I can't imagine how... It's cr it was cringe, yeah, that's how I describe it. Like, it was already aging when it came out. It was aging since the day it was born. I mean, aren't we all, but I mean... Heck. I guess now I can continue practicing against the Quasimodos. He predicted this, after all. Yeah, it really did. I kind of feel like... And then I, I know 4 four was also doing the so random thing, but I hear the writing got... Oh, I just despawned him. <laughs> I guess that's one way of dealing with it. Apparently 4, the writing was much improved compared to 3, uh, from what I've heard. But I'm not sure. I've never played it. I'm, like, I'm just going off of what I've heard from people I know. 4, though, was notable for being like one of the last games to have that level of, like, f freedom and movement, and also just fun with how it moves. So I'm, I don't know, I'm excited to play that one as, like, a superhero game. Um, I am, I'm very much looking forward to going through the entire series, like, from, from one to get out of hell with the same boss, you know? Go on that proper journey. There was a, uh, there was something that Yahtzee said that I really, t like, one of, uh, one of Yahtzee Croshaw's newer videos, just his, like, normal, uh, commentary videos he's been doing, uh, that I really resonated with, didn't quite make it. Yeah, because three, three peaked. It, we went to space, you know? You went to the moon, you went to Mars. But, um, something he said that really resonated with me is that you can tell a game has a good create a character system when you watch someone else's playthrough and just go, that's the wrong character. Yeah, <laughs> look at that! I just figured out how to despawn the Quasimodos. Try predicting the future now, motherfucker. Wonder why they didn't wonder why that happens. Oh, I almost got away with it. But yeah, it's when you look at someone else's creative character and you're like, why is the wrong character in the game? I feel like yeah, only the games like the best creative characters have like will create that feeling. Like, um, Because you just get so attached to your character. Like, uh, for me, Final Fantasy XIV, I have trouble watching people stream that game because of the story of the game is so good, and, like, it does such a good job of making you like your main character that when you're watching someone else play it, you're like, why is your why is your Warrior of Light wrong? <laughs> you can't just ask people that. <laughs> I, I, I think I remember when he said that. I was in a, Yeah, I was on a stream where it's like... Cyberpunk, same thing, yes, exactly, it's like, why does your character look wrong? Um, there was, I think it was like, I think it was somebody I had, like, burnt really bad in Cyberpunk when I was streaming it, and Owl said, uh, why is he black? And I said, because God loves him more than he loves you. <laughs> I got that from an episode of House. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, Cyberpunk, I have that feeling as well. Elder Scrolls, not so much, I guess. I, it depends on, like, how much does the game make you think of your main character as the main character, you know? <laughs> you know you know where you can get a similar feeling? It's when you're watching someone play Legend of Zelda, and the Great Fairy, when talking to Link, is like, Jared, or Andy, Luke, you know? <laughs> Connor, <laughs> like, someone just changed their their Link to the na to their name. Or like that fucking or that screenshot of Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> it's a screenshot of Final Fantasy VII, and it's Sephiroth descending from the heavens, all mutated with two angel, with like six angel wings, and he's like, "Ah, Cool Ranch," and he's looking at Cloud because someone named their character main character Cool Ranch. 
<laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> you can also you can also have a lot of fun by like naming. Oh, my one of my favorite ones to do is naming your main character in uh, Ocarina of Time. Fuck me because Navi usually yells your name whenever she says it. So you walk into like the ice temple and she's just like, fuck me, it's cold in here. <laughs> like, <laughs> makes her sound like a sarcastic Irishman. <laughs> oh man. Like, you, can you can have some fun with that kind of thing. <laughs> Makes that his main character. That's terrible. I I could not like I don't know. I what I like to do is I like to do the broad strokes and I, I mess with the broad strokes until I find something I like and then I just go with it. I'm actually like I feel like I'm one step above him in that way, but only by one step. You know, I'm not hitting random, but I'm at least taking a second to kind of create the broad strokes of what I want my character to look like, and then later on I'll get. Our Miyamoto was Irish. She was. This is known. Even though he, um, but like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll just do the broad strokes, and then later on, when I get tired of looking at my character or I'm something wrong with them, I'll try and go back and recreate them. And if I can't recreate them, I'll just make peace with it. Like when I first played Cyberpunk, I messed up V's makeup really bad, and like, I made her look like a. I made her. Her makeup look. Her her makeup made her look like a clumsy hooker who didn't know how to put on makeup. You know, Homer, you had a set to whore. That's what it looked like. You know, and um, I just couldn't fix it. Like that was it for the entire playthrough. Is what she looked like. She looked goofy as hell, and I just had to make peace with it. And uh, Dick, so <laughs> that's good. Um. Let me kill this turret real quick. Uh, what was I gonna say? But, like, the girlfriend, it's like, if she ever sits down to... Like, if we're ever playing a game together, a common thing that we'll do is, like, we'll get to the character creator, and, like, my heart will sink the moment I see her messing with it. Because, like, I'll be watching her play the game, and she'll be working on the character creator. She'll start up the character creator, and I'm like, oh god, I'm gonna be here for the next hour. I need to go, like, make some coffee. And so I'll usually go get up and get us some snacks and let her work on the character while I'm off doing something, because we're gonna be there for most of the day if I just sit there. Um... Ooh, I'm probably gonna try that with the uh, mummies, actually, now that I have enough hearts. I mean, I've made it. I made it a good ways without dying here. So I, I have. I'll def. Oh no, I have no more lives after this. I guess I guess I botched those first few attempts. Shit. Yes, pretty much. No, it doesn't take me an hour to make coffee. It's more just I gotta go occupy myself while she makes her character. She takes an eternity, man. I don't like. I guess it's because she's an artist. Like Ve is an artist, so I, I've had other artist friends that I've like uh, when I played Divinity with my friend Snow. It's like, all right. Let's make your character, and then she'll just sit there for like an hour, and I'm like, oh my god. She takes her time, because, well, artist. That artist mentality, I guess. Makes you take really way too fucking long on character creators. <laughs> That's fine. That's fair, I mean, I just... That is a, I mean, just because you take a long time on a character creator doesn't mean you're an artist, it's just... If you're the kind of person who likes building faces and characters and drawing characters, you're probably going to take a while on a character creator to get all the details just how you like them, because, you know, that's kind of what drawing is. You're learning that skill to get all the details exactly how you like them. It could also just be a perfectionist thing. If you want everything to be kind of a certain way, you can you'll probably spend a lot of time on a character creator. No! Heck. Da, na, 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 na. Yeah, exactly. If you're if you're a perfectionist, then you're definitely gonna do that. I, I tend to stumble my way through games. Um, like when I whenever I play on stream, I tend to like I try to take my time and like scrape every wall and get every nook and, nook and cranny in detail. But like, 
when I'm when I'm playing on my own, I tend to just barrel through games. Which is funny because typically it's the opposite, you know. When you're want to streaming, you want to you want to keep some motion going. You want to keep some movement going. You want to make sure it's fast and snappy and holds people atten holds people's attention. But like, I don't know. I'm the opposite. I, I assume that everyone who's playing wants to see me do everything. Anyone who's watching wants to see me do everything, so I try to cover everything, cover as much ground as possible when I stream. Bah, bah, bah. Even though I normally wouldn't do that. Not that it's a not that that it's a problem. It's more just something I just don't normally naturally do. I have to stop myself and be like, all right, check that other room. Even though there's nothing directing you to that room or no reason, as you can see, to go into that room. Just go into that room and see what's there, you know? I guess that's why my two immersive sim playthroughs went so well on the channel, because those are games that your enjoyment... Like, that's a style of game that, like, your enjoyment of them is defined almost entirely by how much you're willing to explore, you know? Like, when I played Deus Ex and Dishonored, I was always... I always had enough materials to get through any section I was in. Alright, let's even get far enough to get to the next checkpoint. I'm getting pretty good at, like, dodging these Medusas. Alright, next checkpoint, hell yeah. Nice. There you go, get rid of you, and then... Hmm. Got him. All right. Hell yeah. We're making good progress here. Ba ba ba. Ba ba ba. Damn it! Dies to a bird. Hell yeah, we're making good progress here. Immediately dies to a bird. Da, 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 na, 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 na. Yeah, indeed. Oh, man. Damn it! <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna save you. No, I can't, I can't, I can't. I gotta do it legit. Such a good song, man. Like, could you imagine, like, this game, if the music was bad, how miserable that would be? God, ow. Come on. Like, you'd think that you'd be able to, like, dodge the projectiles by crouching, but... Can't. Oop, there we go. Ah, uh, damn it. <laughs> Tried to be Mario for a second, didn't go well. Na, 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 na. All right. Yeah, this is usually where I get stuck in this game. I haven't got—I don't think I've ever gotten past this point without save stating. Why did I jump? There we go. Banish the uh, quasi motor from existence. Oh my god, you're so annoying. Here we go. Oh, hell no. Alright, got him. Me and Castlevania level 2, three hours later. Die, die! Oh my god. Uh... 
I have gotten got by that same bird every time. Okay, we're gonna take five, and we'll be back. See you guys in a bit.
And I'm back. Hello. <sighs> Did you guys enjoy your break? Did you enjoy the soothing, creepy Muzaks? And the arrival of the R8 Gamer? Ah. <sighs> Got him. He'll be back. No, he won't be. Good. No? Okay. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Well, I can get rid of him, at least. Not universal. Got him. Yep. Catching him as he comes in is always very nice. You can just give him a quick bop on the head with the whip, and it's over. Very rare that I actually land that, though. Oh, excuse me. There we go. Got him, got him. <clears throat> He's done. There we go. And that was an invincibility power-up, goddammit. That's unfortunate. Alright, there we go. All right, I'll smash some candles. <clears throat> All right. So hopefully this time I can make it a bit further without dying. I'm doing okay on lives currently, and I'm my approach is going okay. Um, now that I've said it, of course I've jinxed it. I can probably, if I get the clock up ahead, I can probably get away with using that on the turrets. So that I don't gotta, you know, waste all that health and that time. Alright, we're gonna go ahead. Alright, heart. Time, there we are. Alright, so the bird, we can just do a quick little whip and he's done. Crack the candle here. And for you, I'm... Uh, let's try his projectiles first. It works much better with the long whip, I've noticed. Having a longer whip does help quite a bit. Uh, jump and... Oh, shit! <sighs> it's a whole life down the drain, too. That's a bummer. I'll go ahead and make our way past these Medusa heads. And, um, there's my better whip, but I can't get to it because I'm running away from Medusa heads. And I missed it. Oh, there it is. It's back. I really feel like there should be a turkey or something here, somewhere nearby. Like wall meat. There's a sad lack of wall meat in my life right now. Alright, got my time stop powers. That's good. Um, oh, you. Not even gonna bother with you. We're just gonna leap the gap and we just kill ya. As I leap, we're gonna... Time stop, and now... Mm, 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 done. Okay. Money, got it. Alright. Checkpoint, excellent. Let's make our way ahead. There's a there's a game on Steam called Odalis the Dark Call that uses this like style of graphics really, really well. Such... And it's like a Metroidvania in the vein of like, well, Sym Symphony of the Night or Metroid. It's more like explorative and stuff. Alright, we're just gonna leap ahead on these guys. I got no reason to fight them. Oh, shit. Alright, I used all my time stop. That's fine. As long as we got the checkpoint here, that's what matters to me. Uh, we don't need that. Well... What? I'm sorry? What happened to my time stop? Okay, I guess it just doesn't work on those guys. So time stop's not a valuable option. 
Not a valid option for dealing with the mummies, at least. Oh my gosh. There we go. And it's over. All right, let's try her again. Up, up, up. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and crack our way ahead here. It's fucking Quasimodos, man. They're so annoying. So fucking annoying. Ah, uh, boy. Skeleton. Bouncy boy. Got him. Alright, he's done. <clears throat> I guess I didn't know the break was over. Come on, Simon. There you go. You got it, man. We all have our bad days. Sometimes Simon just can't get a grip of that ledge. And I just used the holy water on a candle. That was a waste. Uh, hey, right, you're done. You're done. Excellent. Crack that open. That's a heart. That's good. Bird's gonna crack and drop something super valuable, probably. They only drop something valuable if they're about to fall off a ledge. That way you can, like, feel sad as they fall. There we go. A lot of dedication to that jump. I'm not even gonna bother with him. I always just, I always just try and hit him with the uh, holy water anyway. Got the axe, perfect. All right, this should make my life a little bit easier, I hope. All right, go ahead and get our heart here and our heart here. Yeah, we're doing good on hearts. We're doing good on hearts. All right, we're just gonna go ahead and try to get ahead of the Medusa heads. Nope. Nope, we're just running past you. We don't got we don't want none of your shit. You can Alright, so now we know we can safely run past those guys if we if we time it properly. Uh that's the better one to go with, yeah, because of the turrets. Yeah, you're dead now. Good. He's he's taken care of. He's done. Excellent. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. Timing on that was just all off, which is sad because I had infinite time to notice my mistake after I had made it and just linger on it. Man, time stop to stop something bad happening is nice, but can, can you imagine the nightmare of stopping time as something bad is happening? You like the bullets halfway through your body and you're like, no! And you just top, you stop time slightly too late as you can just feel the bullet ripping through your flesh. That would be unfortunate. It'd be an unfortunate use of time stop. Don't use time stop like that. It won't go well for you. All right, now the turkey should just top me off once I get in there. Oh shoot! They never have a consistent pathing on them, guys. It's really frustrating. There we go. Nope. Hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. We're just gonna jump it, pause time, grab our turkey, and get a little bit of a heal, I guess. Yeah, it just doesn't work on these guys. Isn't that crazy? One down. I got one down before I died. That's all right. We have a couple more lives. We can try again.
All right. Okay. <clears throat> Go ahead and open this up on the. Every now and again, you got to check the numbers and make sure people are actually watching. Otherwise, you're just wasting your time, and I could do something else. Uh, anyway, I'm glad to hear, glad to see four of you are still watching. All right, here we go. Ah, uh, there we go. And ah, uh, shit, these guys are so, so. <laughs> so not fun to fight when when you don't have the whip upgrade. I wonder how far into the game I'm gonna get before I just cave and start using quick saves. Not like for like individual movements, but like if I were to be like, alright, every time I cross through a door, that's a checkpoint. God, making the boss run is such a nightmare in this. Yeah, we're gonna start. After this life, we're gonna go ahead and. After this round of lives, we're gonna go ahead and start quick saving and doing false checkpoints at doors. Every time the screen transitions, we'll treat that like a checkpoint. Which, to be fair, every now and again, like, setting custom checkpoints and how you want to run a game can be really great. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and just jump you then. Oh, and it shoots from the same angle too, even though the head's different. Oh my goodness. That was a mistake. Oh goodness, I'm- goodness gracious, I'm dead now. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and save save here. And we'll just have this be our reload point. Oh. Kill the Xenomorph head, and for the Quasimodo, just hit him as he comes down. Too early, too early, too early. Oh my goodness. He's done, he's done. Good, good. Um... Alright, let's go and leave on up here. Oh my god, Simon! Simon! Simon, just make the jump! Dude. There we go. What a weird, what a weird combination. Big, heavy man, and like, light-ass, sharp-ass whip. Isn't that crazy? Like, what a strange comparison, you know? Cause like when you're when you imagine like a big heavy man character, you give him a big heavy weapon, you know, not a not a whip. You'd give like a lighter character a whip, right? But nah, he's a big, strong, heavy man, built like Conan the Barbarian. Give him a whip. There's a actually pretty decent robot chicken sketch about that. Oh, it's Simon Belmont! What's he gonna do? He's got a whip! Ooh! Ow! Ow! <laughs> Always like that one. A lot of their video game sketches are on point. There's one really good one about, uh, it was a Final Fantasy VII based one. There was Cloud working at a, uh, at a McDonald's or something. I remember really liking. Uh... The entire thing was done in the style of uh, Seven, like the same style animation and everything. Or uh, not animation, but like movement—the way the characters move. They move like they were in the game. Gosh darn it! I'm right, gonna push our way up a bit. Okay, I can pretty pretty easily dodge those projectiles. We're good, we're good. As long as I have the full whip, he's no issue. I would happily, happily throw away every item in the game if it meant that hearts were health, though. That's so upsetting to me that hearts aren't health. It just seems wrong. It's always bothered me about Castlevania. It's like, oh boy, thank goodness I have health. It's like, no, because hearts aren't health in this game. They're... Your spirit points for your weapon. It's dumb. Can't hurt me. Invincible.
<laughs> I always thought the whips made of chains were really cool. Like the uh, idea of the vampire killer altogether was just super rad. Oh, shoot. Adding Medusa adds to the mix. I don't think so. Here we go. Holy crap, did I just do all of that in one life? Get it now. Chicken. That doesn't matter at all with you guys, what the heck. I guess that's why they give me the knife. But it's like, why would I use the knife instead of the, the whip? I don't know, is, how, like, is the knife good? Uh, I don't know, I don't really play Castlevania. Na, 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 na. I'm guessing it's gotta be better than the whip because it costs something, you know? Gotta watch for his wind up so I can jump when he's about to do his projectile. There we go. Yeah, I gotta jump over the projectile. Come on. Too late now. I've got a bird hovering just out of reach. There he goes. He's done. You're done. I always time that perfectly on that on that hit, where it's just like, gotta hit him right as I come across. There we go. Medusa head. And then we're gonna throw the other turret into the mix, but we're just gonna go ahead and dodge his projectiles and get over him. Oh, yeah. Great. Go into this next zone with no health again. Ah. Uh... There we go. I am trying. I'll give it one more try and then I'll reset. No way, what the heck was that? Was that just one of his drops? One of his drops could be a con like a whip upgrade? Are you serious? Oh, it's over here. No, I need that, sir. Thank you. I have no idea how to beat these guys. They just overwhelm me so fast. Um... <laughs> and now it's money? It's not even a whip upgrade? It lied? Die, 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 die. 
Uh... What's wrong with this guy? Like, what the... What the... How the fuck? How do I... One down. One down. Yes! Yes! Woo! We did it! Yay! We're finally free of that level! Oh my god. Oh my goodness, I'm sweating. Oh jeez. Woo! Woohoo! I deserve a hydrate, yes, I am a thirsty, a thirsty guy. Also, man, this is beautiful. Like, they made a... They did a really good job with the NES's color palette. I am genuinely blown away at how good this looks. Alright, he's done. Grab the Jesus. Jesus. Hello. What did I think was gonna happen? Goodbye. Oh man. Yeah, like, no, this looks great. Ah, oh, heck. Not again. I'm being- we're being overwhelmed by the fishmen. Here is the Batman! I swear- that's why I remember about this song. Yeah, it sounds like Batman. Dun dun! Oh shit, that wasn't a platform. I, I should have known that wasn't a platform. I saw the item fall. Oh, thank you for the whip upgrade. Whip upgrade. <laughs> oh, I should wait for those few more enemies before I use that screen clear. Da 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 da. I'm always doing pointless shit, man. Like, not- I don't mean, like, life, I mean, like, in games and in, in things I do in life as well. Like, today, there was a semi that merged in front of me, right? And, like, I went ahead and merged back in front of the semi. Or, no, I, I went, to, went to go around the semi only to realize that I had to go in front of him again in order to move into the lane I didn't move in. I knew it was coming up, I wasn't like... driving by map, I knew the area, I just was stupid and didn't think. So I was thinking only one step ahead rather than multiple. I knew that was happening too- oh my goodness. Good ol' Retro Arc! Remember, like, okay, people are like, oh, Retro Arc's so simple. Remember when you can just move, like, on, on SNES 9X, you move your hand up, you hit a single key, there's your quick save, you know? Like, Retro Arc overcomplicates so much shit in pursuit of making things simpler. Like, this emulator is, if I didn't have someone actually set it up for me, I wouldn't even be using it. Like, the fact that I can't just bind, uh, Oh, I mean, I can probably totally- I can totally bind that shit to something, I'm just being lazy. It's nice having all your emulators in one, that's great, but it's... It's annoying sometimes, the way that little- Little things this emulator has that drives me nuts. For example, I'm gonna be playing a PlayStation 1 first-person shooter this week, and I'm gonna have to figure out how to rebind the fucking buttons on this thing. Otherwise, that game's gonna be a nightmare to play, because the button layout is goofy as hell. The strafe you use the shoulder buttons, like Kingsfield. 
Someone's just like, yeah, that's what that's how it's supposed to be. What kind of first person shooters have you been playing? How else would you strafe? Oh, nice, I made it. Dun 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 all this is just like Quasimodo predicted. What on earth? Got him. Yay. Dun 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 dun. Better save a state here. Not again. Got it. Money and chicken! Hell yeah! Alright. Now we're doing it. Well, I was supposed to hit him there. He's all tucked down away into cover. Come on, game. Come on. Well, they're drowning me in hearts right now. I'm guessing they want me to use my item. Well, that happened. You die so fast in this game, too. Damn it. Hmm. I have no idea how to deal with this guy. This guy's tough. Hmm. Oh, that really? That that's all? Oh. <laughs> I feel very silly right now. Is that all I had to do? <laughs> I see. Oh, hello. Oh, it's Igor. Hi, Igor. Bye, Igor. Oh, you're not dead. This is how the message ran. Science fiction. Double feature. Hmm. I'm gonna undo the save state. And we're gonna go ahead and load our state from back here. Dr. X will build a creature. Dun 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 dun. I'm yeah, I was waiting for that. I was like, all right, I'm doing the exact same thing I did last time. What's going on? It felt wrong, and I knew it. That's frustrating, man. 
I gotta be closer, maybe. Yeah, I gotta be closer. Don't stop whipping. Oh my goodness. No, don't. Please. Okay, thank goodness. And then wall chicken. No, I need chicken. I can't survive. I need health. Uh, all right, we're gonna go ahead and save here then. There we go, that's a better save spot. I messed that up a bit more. Wow, okay. In fact, undo save state. We're gonna go ahead and load the state again. No, not you! What the hell? Alright, don't know what just happened there, but I ended up where I wanted to be. <laughs> that was fucking strange. Uh, yeah, we'll just run this hallway repeatedly. There's a specific spot I gotta be in to not take any damage there. Mm -hmm. Bum 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 bum. Fucker. Igor, I hate you. Now I'm gonna walk in and then just get one shot by Igor again. One hit! That's what he that's what he gets. He gets a one hit on me and I'm just done. Fucking hell, Igor, you piece of shit. His, project his projectiles are easy enough to dodge, it's him I'm worried about. Okay, I see, I see, okay. If I can dodge long enough, I can dagger the monster a couple times, and then only got I only got him to worry about. Yep. Just the, like, I got no health right now. I should probably just suck it up and take the checkpoint. I really wish, like, a some hero would go back and mod these old NES games to have proper checkpoint support. It's like one of my, like, I, it, it, oh, hi, Kira. Kira, thanks for joining. You joined me right as I'm getting my butt kicked. Welcome. Thank you all for showing up. I'm, uh, I'm Alex. I play pretty much everything, specifically retro single player games. Thank you. Hey, Blue Wolf, how's it going? I wondered why you weren't here. How are you doing, man? We are just about done, sadly, but we're having fun. Oh, no. Oh, crap. Okay. Oh, no. Ah, load state. Yep, so I'm having a rough go of it here in uh, Castlevania. Uh, it's rough. It's tough. I'm getting my butt kicked. 
Happy to see more Castlevania love. I uh, love. That's a. I, I'm. I, you know what? Yeah, there's some love. There's love here. Uh, the game doesn't seem to love me much. That's for sure. Oh fuck. Yeah. Look, I get one hit. You know what? Let's go ahead and undo that save state and load the last one. There we go. It's like the main thing. B day girl. Oh nice. Happy birthday. That's awesome. How old are you? Uh, oh, heck. Yeah, I might as well load the state, state if I get hurt that bad. I promised myself I wouldn't do this, but with like how difficult this game is, it's something that I feel like I need to do. There was like a specific, like, special spot I found for hitting this guy. Yeah, there he goes. Got him. All right, now we got we got at least two hits. We can take at least two hits from Quasimodo now. Look at that. That's a much better save state. 1027, ah, nice. Let me check mine real quick. Oh, I gotta translate, I've been using human years too much. Uh, da -da 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 -da. All right. I did not find a converter, so I'm just gonna try my best. Da -da -da -da. Happy birthday, though. That's awesome. Oh no! Yeah, that's a great save state, Alex. Why don't we try that again? Wait, okay, that's a good feature. The ability to undo your bad load states and save states is like a miracle. I'm so happy that's an option on this emulator. Oh, it's it's beating me. It's beating me bad. I, I'm having a rough go of it. It's one of the, it's it's uh it's never a good feeling when I when I'm playing a game and I'm like I need to practice this off stream, which I rarely like to. I, I try to avoid doing, but. I'm worried that I won't just won't be able to finish this actually, but I, you know what, I, may, I am making progress. I should probably just stop trying to brute force it with save states and just let the game have its way with me. That's probably the better way of doing it. I'm gonna I'm gonna try that after this next death. Oh, it's rough in these streets. It's rough in these Dracula streets. Oh, I got a knife. Yay. Just what I need. Heck. You're done. There should be wall turkey here? Yes, there is. Perfect. Excellent. A little bit of a... little bit of a... freshening up. Some wall turkey. Hey, hon, what time is it? Okay, so I'm not... Alright, I'm not running over. That's good. Gotta take the girlfriend to work after this, and I can't miss that, so... Oh, wow, that went really well! Um... The temptation to save state here is great, but I'm gonna try and stick to my word. Here we go! Hey, little guy. Didn't like that much, did you? He's unpredictable, that's one thing I can say about him. Oh, hey, monster. I love this, I love this Frankenstein's monster sprite, it's really nice. Oh! Nope, sticking with it just in case. No, I maybe maybe this time. Maybe if I do just if I do that well next time, I will definitely, I will definitely accept the um. Well, maybe not. Oh, okay, because there's still wall turkey to save me, so I can. Nope, 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 nope. There's no saving this. That's this is this is a botched run. This is a botched run. There we go. Maybe, 
No, it's not enough. Not enough. Yeah. Yeah, we're just gonna let that stay. I feel like... I wish I had, like, a boss fountain. That'd be nice. Uh, Alright, let's try it again. Drop a save state here. I think checkpoints are one of the best things invented for games. Like, I really appreciate having a decent checkpoint system that actually, like, memori memor remembers my health when I die and stuff, too. It's super nice. Should have left that turkey there in case I needed to come back. We're gonna get the full two hours today, nice. Done. Excellent. Alright, we're gonna try it this time. I felt much better about last time. I just need to get rid of the little guy. The little guy's the real threat. The big guy's big and intimidating, but he doesn't, like... He's, like, the little dude's doing the real damage. Oh. Seems like Frankenstein's monster isn't the boss in this one. Yeah, it's definitely Igor. Igor is the one messing me up. I need to hit him and then, like, hit and reposition and then hit. Here we go. One down. Wait till I get my opportunity to smack him again. Yeah, because, like, the monster's just bumbling around. Like, he's not actually even really doing anything. It's the little guy is the problem, and he's just relentless. If he wasn't here, this boss would be a cakewalk. Oh, well, he's on the... Okay, okay, I'm hitting the monster when I do that, though. Like, I'm trying to hit Igor, but, like, I can hit him... I hit him once, and then he bounces, because he... Ah, it's frustrating. He's so annoying, oh my god. Uh. Igor really going, he going off, Igor's popping off. Ah, no. Igor's had enough. You throw the switch! I had to do my little dance to prepare myself. Uh, I've seen the first two. I've seen the first three seasons, and I ended up dropping it at season three because I didn't like it. Uh, I I really enjoyed season one and two. Like that's some of my favorite content. It's just two season three kind of ended on a wet fart, and I just didn't want to watch any more of it. It was also really disappointing at the start of season three how we had we saw how we didn't get to see uh, uh, Trevor's and Sypha's. You know, their relationship bloom. That happened all happened off screen and we just didn't get to see it. But like Yeah, that season was such a disappointment. I tried watching season three, I just we couldn't get back into it, just the spark was lost. Igor has had enough of not being in the spotlight. Ador by Azura, by Azura, by Azura! It's the grand champion! I can't believe <laughs> it's you standing here next to me. Thank you, I appreciate it. By Azura, by Azura, by Azura, it's the grand oh, champion. Oh, Sonic, have you seen this? Did you see this one yet? Standing this one's great. Next to me. Oh man, well yeah, like I just kind of fell off of it. Just season three was such a disappointment, and like I, even though I could tell season four was better, I just I hadn't any idea in the direction it was going. Like Castlevania season one, seasons one and two were like, let's do it. You, like, you know exactly what the characters are going to do from the beginning, what they're, like, they have a good sense of direction. And season four was like, if we're bringing back Dracula, that's the wrong answer. You can't do that with this Dracula. Because, I, I don't know if you guys have seen it, but in the Castlevania TV show, if you were to bring back Dracula, he would immediately kill himself. Like, the entire reason for him dying in the first place is tied to the fact that he just wants to be with his wife again in hell. 
and then in season three we see that he's happy with his wife and I, I knew this would come up at some point but like yeah it's just it was really disappointing it's like could you imagine like the fucking ritual and everyone's like oh you're finally back our dark lord and this first thing he does is just throws himself off the building <laughs> Just, uh, just that imagery is so messed up and funny to me. He's finally returned, our Dark Lord. No, Dark Lord, please! We have so much to do! Dark Lord! Splat. It's like, what's this? It's holy water, my Dark Lord. It's f to just to protect us in case the ritual went wrong somehow. And he's like, I see. And he just downs the holy water. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you can't. It's it's the thing where it really feels like, oh my god, right? It's just this Dracula wouldn't, d like, they ran into an issue. They made a really cool take on Dracula that built up to a very specific thing, and then he did that thing, and then they remembered the name of the TV show was Castlevania, and they had to bring him back if they were to continue with later storylines. Otherwise, those storylines just wouldn't work. So they wrote themselves into a corner, and the corner was amazing! I would have been A-OK -okay with us leaving that corner alone in Castlevania ending right there. It was a perfect ending, and as far as I was... Like, I remember there it said, oh, they're making a season three, and I'm like, what's that gonna be about? Like, how do you continue it? And the answer is, poorly. <laughs> because they wrote themselves into a corner. And they had some other villains they were setting up that I thought were really rad. I just, I don't think they think they could carry it on its own with just those characters, though. What's up, hon? Oh, we gotta go? Alrighty, then. Alright, everyone, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the stream. If you enjoyed the stream, be sure to follow. I'd really appreciate that. And if you want to hang out sometime or see more from me, be sure to join the Discord. I'd really appreciate that too. Uh, with all that being said, uh, we're gonna go ahead and raid somebody real quick, and then I gotta bounce because I gotta take care of the. I gotta get the girlfriend to work. See, ya, bye everybody. Uh, we'll beat. We'll beat Frankenstein next time. I promise. Tomorrow we're gonna be playing. I think we're playing. Oh shoot! Let me pull up my. Oh, we have no time, huh? It's five fifty. No, we got. We got a little. We got a minute. We got a minute. I can pull this up a second. Uh, tomorrow we're going to be playing Alien Trilogy for the PS1. It's a first-person shooter based off the first three Alien movies. It's pretty neat. See if anyone else is streaming Castlevania. Nope. Uh, Strenz playing, playing Monstrum, but I don't know what that is. All right, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up then. Uh, Blue Wolf says good luck, honey. All right. Good night, everybody.